Hello there, good day. Welcome to the video series on data structure and the topic of today's video is linked list. So what is linked list? Linked list as you can see consists of two words. So first let's understand what is list. List is a collection of element. For example, in this case I have collection of element consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What make them linked? If an element in a collection knows about the other elements in the collection, especially the next element, it is called linked list. As you can see in this example, the collection of element become linked list only when the elements knows about the other element, especially the next elements in the collection. How it is different from other data structures like array, stack or for that matter list. In all these cases, uh, all the data structure don't know about other elements of the collection. The difference between this data structure and the linked list is the awareness about other elements of the collection especially the next element if we consider with the real life example let's consider uh, a shopping cart the elements of a shopping cart has no relationship or awareness about the other elements in the shopping cart but in case of routers all the routers aware about the next router it is connected to so routers can be considered as linked list and uh, shopping cart can be considered at as any other data structure like array stack where it has no awareness about that other data in the same collection okay so linked list to create a linked list we each collection elements are called node which is having a next pointer for example in this case i am taking example of linked list with three node what next pointer does is that it is aware about the next node uh, in the collection okay and when it is aware about the next uh, node in the collection it is called singly linked list when it is also aware about the previous node in the collection it is called doubly linked list one important thing about linked list is that user defined types has to be created to create a linked list data structure you cannot convert a built-in integer character or any other type into a linked list type you need to have your own user defined type for example struct classes templates to create a linked list. We are going to look into five topics in this particular video. How to create a linked list, how to add elements to the linked list, and then how to access elements of the linked list, how to delete elements from the list, and how to delete the list, list itself. So uh, that's all, let's go into the code. Okay, to create a linked list, we first need to create a data structure for linked list. Uh, the user defined type so let me create a structure called ll and to, just for simplicity we have only one value inside the linked list and we have a we are creating a singly linked list with next pointer next so this is my data structure and i want to create a function which will create the linked list so i'll say ll start create list and this is the element on which we need to create the list so how will i implement that i'll create a uh, linked list as new ll i'll say linked list value is the element that is passed i'll say linked list next is null pointer and i am returning this linked list Okay. so I have created a linked list how will I make use of it so in the main program I can say ll start my list equal to create list let's say I say first element as 100 okay so this is the very first thing I have done let me compile and it's it's working okay now I have created the linked list I need another function to add elements into the linked list so let me create with void add element I want to add element into link list so link list start the link list on which I want to add element and this is the element I want to add so the reason why I have created a create list function because I can reuse it over here so in the link list I will always add element at the end okay so what I will have to do is that I'll have to loop through this linked list 
and saying that unless the next is not equal to null pointer I'll just go to the next now if the when I went till the next at in the last element in the last element what I will do in the last next of the last element I'll call create list with the element so if I have reused this function to add element into my list now I can call this add element function over here uh, with my list and let's say now I want to add 200 into here let me add some more 300 need not to be in a some order let's say 150 and again 22 to 2 okay now let me go ahead and compile till now everything is fine okay I have misspelled it okay let me go ahead and compile it and everything works fine now I need to check whether things are working or not let me just print the list also so I'll say void print list and this link list I want to print printing should be easy because again I'll iterate through all the elements in the list so while link list is not equal to null null ptr what I will do is that I'll do a C out list uh, item is equal to link list value and then and go to the next element of the list okay let me go ahead and print it or oh, I have to call this print list function call this print list function with my list and it should print yet see printing 100 200 all the element which we have inserted into the list okay now uh, you know that uh, how I am passing my list into the function because it's I am passing it kind of just a pointer copy it's a different pointer so if I move this pointer next 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 to the null nothing impacts nothing happens on my list so once you are dealing with pointer arithmetics in C and C++ you should be very careful about this if you pass somehow by this by double pointer you are actually changing this pointer okay so that's about creating list adding element into the list printing the list now I have to delete the item from the list let's try to do that so let me say I call delete item from my list my link list and I have to delete the item containing this element okay now when I am deleting the item that means I am altering my list so it should return the altered list so this is my return type now return null there are three ways I can delete item okay uh, whether the item can be first item on the list and item could be middle item of the list for example 300 or it could be last item of the list so everything will have different implementation let's go talk about the first element so first element means if I say link list incoming link list value is actually equal to element so it's the first item on the list so what I will do if the link list has only one item I'll return null because after deleting it it will become null otherwise if it has more item I'll return the next so I'll have to check if link list next is not equal to null pointer I'll return the link list next it's one of the simplest use case else okay I'll return null let me go ahead and check it so just let me compile it uh, sorry comment it and I am printing the list before deleting now I am just creating and now I am 
let me delete it uh, so I'll have linked list start altered list equal to delete item from my list capital L list and element is 100 and then I'll print element print list with altered list okay makes sense let me go ahead and compile it and it prints nothing because after deleting this there is nothing left in the altered list okay so now this is about deleting the first item how about middle item or the last item so if this is not the first item then it must be middle item or the last item now to delete the middle item or the last item we need to have a reference to previous pointer okay so that if I am deleting something in the middle, I can assign the pointers. So let me get previous item. Item is link list. So since I have already checked this link list is there and its value is not meeting with the matching with this. So I am creating previous item as link list. Okay. And what I am doing that I am also creating a search item which is actually equal to link list dot neck arrow next because I have already checked the first item if it is not the case I will check with second item onwards so while I am doing while search item is not equal to null pointer it's very simple algorithm nothing complicated about, about it over here so I will say if search item value is equal to element so if i have found the element i'll say previous item reassigning the pointer as search item next and i'll delete the search item and i'll have to return something here i'll return the link list because i am doing the modification in original link list else if it is not the case i'll say current previous item is the search item and search item equal to search item next okay so this uh, finishes it uh, let me go ahead and test it now okay so what i'll do is that uh, let me add 200 all the okay let me just add all this here in the list so i'll print my list first and in altered list uh, let's remove the first element first anyway to make sure that nothing is broken okay so let me here i have written uh, remove the first element i get two three something like this so let me remove 300 it's the middle element and let me go ahead and compile you can see 300 is removed cool now let's say one one before last element and 150 is removed and let's also check the last element so you can see the last element is also removed so this algorithm is working perfectly now i just want to tell you that about how this algorithm work what had happened that this is the first element okay and next is the second element and next is the third element for example so if i have to get rid of this element what i'll do i'll reassign the pointer like this so that this is getting deleted and the link list continues to know about its next element so that's the way this algorithm work if it's the first i'll return the pointer to next if it is the middle one i'll return remove it return the pointer to the i'll rearrange the pointer if it's the last one i'll just remove it okay now this is about deleting a particular item from the list how about deleting complete list okay so let me go ahead and try to delete complete list so void delete list and ll star link list okay so before once we delete the list you cannot access it so before deleting you have to have you have to store it in a temp so i'll say node to delete i'll start deleting from the beginning node to delete equal to link list 
and while link list is not equal to null pointer so i'll say link list equal to link list next i'll say delete note to delete or rather i'll do like this so let's put this inside here and that's pretty much it so instead of printing list let me just call delete list my list and let me go ahead and run the code so everything is deleted and just to make sure that i am deleting this so let me print a deleting item is equal to note to delete value so that i make sure that everything is getting deleted i don't see 2 to 2 over here because i have already deleted it so if i comment it i should see 2 to 2 also being part of it yes it is there so that's the logic and algorithm for writing a very simple singly linked list so that's all about this particular video guys thanks a lot thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe for getting regular update thank you